This is Twit. 15 terabyte hard drive. Are you excited, Mr. Maventano? Uh, I mean, I'm excited for hard drives in general. I'm not excited personally <laughs> because this is a, uh, it's 15 terabytes, yes. Uh, but it's relying on what's called shingled magnetic recording. So this is mm -hmm. meant for, really meant for data center type places. Not just in the respect of, oh, it's a super durable hard disk meant for data center. You could totally use it in your home NAS. No. Uh, this is a host managed SMR which means that you basically need special software or your software on the host or the server needs to be coded to take advantage of this particular writing method. So whenever you do any writes to an SMR hard disk, it needs to be more of a sequential write. You can't just write things to random places on one of these. Uh, it really doesn't like it, and the performance would, would really not be that great. Um, but as long as you're writing sequentially, uh, you can store... You know, uh, per the press release and stuff, they were saying, you know, 25% more data roughly on SMR versus your standard, like, perpendicular recording uh, drives that you can do random things on just fine. Um, so uh, where the standard drives fall right now from Western Digital is uh, 12 terabytes. So if you want, like, a regular style hard disk that, you know, that's the highest they go. Uh, I think it has to be an enterprise drive, though, right now. I don't think they make a, a 12 terabyte red or anything like that. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, good specs, uh, just usually these drives are like lower power style drives, but these particular ones, the, uh, HC 620 ultra star is a 7,200 RPM drive implying that, you know, you'd get faster sequentials and faster seek times because, uh, less time waiting on the, the data to circle around the disc and make it to the, the read head. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, we were talking on the podcast uh, last night. There's probably one of the last drives we're going to see or last like major announcements we should see before we start seeing some form of what's called MAMR, um, which is a microwave assisted recording coming out of Western Digital uh, since they, they briefed us on that like a year back. Uh, and it was supposed to be air quotes coming soon. Um, not here yet, but they're they're probably just still trying to develop the the media uh, to be able to take more advantage of being able to write to smaller and smaller areas on the desk. But the whole shingling thing is it's literally just like your roof shingles on your house, right? They're sort of overlapped on each other. <laughs> uh, that, that's what the name is for. Um, it, it's uh, you as, as it turns out, you can you can read from a narrower track then you can write to when you write there's just this limit where it's it's the the magnetic manipulation of the the domains on the on the platters it's just it's wider than we can read currently so take advantage of that you just kind of like lay the tracks slightly overlapping slightly uh, slightly usually there has to be a gap between them so you go from that to just well don't worry about the gap turns out that's about 25 percent worth Lo and behold, that's how you get your difference in, in the capacity. Uh, so if you if you take out that 25% worth of a, of a gap and sort of turn it into actually overlapping slightly, uh, then all you have to do when you come back later on to read it is just kind of shift it a little bit to one side so that you know you're you know you're reading the track the earlier one, not the one that's mm -hmm. potentially slightly overlapping it from you know the next circle around the disk. So. A pretty simple concept. It just it requires more care because you can't just then insert data into the middle of that because now you're going to risk overlapping something from the other side. And now <laughs> there's nothing left in the middle or very, you know, just a th really thin sliver of data left in the center there uh, for you to right. try to read. So, you know, that would just throw a wrench in the works and it just wouldn't work properly. Um, yeah, you know, good stuff. Uh, good to see the capacities going up. Eventually, it just means that ev there will eventually be a 13 or a... They're probably going to skip 13 because I noticed they kind of did, right? Right. <laughs> Notice there's a there's a 12 terabyte regular drive. There's a 14... There was a 14 terabyte. Now there's a 15 terabyte. So they're doing the elevator button trick. Nobody wants to release <laughs> a 13 terabyte hard disk. Uh, and, you know, as it turns out, you're trusting your data on this thing. Maybe not. don't go with a, a, a superstitial unlucky number. With the size of the capacity. 